Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Wayne DeGroote from DQDDD.ca. The lesson is uh, intermediate in the roof framing. Uh, my request is how to show blocking inside the roof framing. Now, there's different types of blocking that are inside of uh, the roof framing. Uh, one is usually wall top. Uh, blocking, which is good for uh, raked um, soffits, and there's also uh, gabled end blocking, which is also known as a ladder set. So I'm going to show both to make sure where I can get everyone happy with that. So uh, first things first, I have my roof up here, and I have a gable on the front and back, and I have a hip on the left and right. So first thing is going to put in my um, auto stick frame. Now, uh, for illustration purposes, I will move my stick framing just back a little bit here so it sits over the wall itself. It really does depend on your code and how you do things, but I'll definitely show you how to get started with certain things. Okay, so uh, what is a rafter? What's the difference between a rafter and a ceiling truss, or sorry, a ceiling joist? A ceiling joist is normally uh, is normally um, uh, where the drywall is fastened to, and the rafter itself is the top part where the sheathing is going to be attached to, so the, for the uh, for the for the roofing itself. So a rafter, um, no matter where you put it. In, as long as it's inside the confines of the roof itself, and I just drew in one, so I guess I'll throw in the 3D. So now you can sort of see this one right here is the um, the rafter. I sorry, the blocking that I just put in. Now I can also take um, this, and I'm going to copy this downwards. And I'll just guess for now. I'm type in, um, I'll just type in 3 for now, and of course control C, control C will actually recalculate everything, so we're going to give that a second here, and then I'm going to switch over to 3D, so you can sort of see the, the rafting, or sorry, the uh, ladder set, or gabled end blocking is in there. Alright. All right. Now, of course, these are usually um, tilted over, but if you're trying to get somewhat accurate to of a of a material list, a material takeoff, you'd do that. Uh, and no, there's no way to actually have these perpendicular to the truss themselves. Uh, the idea is once you actually draw in one rafter, it will actually conform itself to the roof sheathing. So the roof sheathing actually does mold it. Um, and of course, our second thing here is the um, wall top blocking. Now, it really depends on how you do it yourself, but uh, what I have done is uh, stagger it. So I'm just going to zoom in here. Um, so I would usually have it to start here and snap across. Now, as you can see, I'm sort of getting it loosely putting it in, but it will actually snap to the members themselves. And of course, copy works just fine in this, but I'm just going to draw it live for you. Now, it depends on how you do it. It could be all lining up, of course. You would get that. I'm going to switch over to 3D so you can sort of see what I just did. There, there, there. All right, so that is how to put in blocking. Now, if you did have a skylight, you can actually throw in the same type of thing if I want to have a perpendicular rafters or something like that. Um, of course, you put in the skylight beforehand, it would be easier. Um, but I'm going to go to the same location, go to draw, and the very top is the rafter. So if I did put in um, a piece here, and I just arbitrarily chose the, that spot, I click on the 3D, and it will actually know where that blocking will be. So again, it's more of a basic illustration purposes and for um, material takeoff. Good. Thank you very much for watching Software TV. If you have any requests whatsoever on how to draw anything inside of Softplan, please email me at softplantv at ddd.ca.
Thank you so much for watching. Take care.